That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Jason David Frank. Boom shakalaka. Please do not change channel. Entertainment, not something you're doing in the room. Exactly. Right. It depends on the day. As far as you know, they're not doing it in the room. Insurance purposes and all that. It's YouTube. They already know the truth. They know. <laughs> Guys, uh, how does one uh, aspire to juggle fire and knives and things? What, what you like sitting home one day and you're thinking, okay, how can I disappoint my mom now? Um, <laughs> um, low IQ and too much time. That's how you get to be a talk show host. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's, uh, well, then you're only one step away. I see that. I can need more time. Yeah, it's coordination. Uh, but really, what, what, what made you decide to throw knives yeah, and fire? Yeah, what, 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 what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Juggling. Kind of just fell into my into my lap. Uh, oh. It was a. What he did there. I, uh, I, I. It, it's just sorry. something I. Caleb is like a god. <laughs> what have I done? It, it just, we, <laughs> just we generally let him uh, throw things, and we don't let him talk too much. It's true. They don't let me talk that much. Uh, but juggling, it, it's it just kind of happened. It, it really. Moreover, someone else showed me how, and I just took it and ran took with it. it. Uh, and then I added fire to it because, why not? <laughs> Generally speaking, anything is cooler if you light it on fire. Exactly. It's our experience. It is. It's mm. not untrue. Yeah. At the end of this segment, we're going to light Garrett on fire. So. It probably it also cool. not untrue. <laughs> I will be cooler that way. So and, maybe I'll take fire. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Fantasmagoria, how'd you guys link up? Um, well, Fantasmagoria is a not exactly circus, not exactly general premise performance group um, that uses a variety of circus performers and storytellers to do a few different things. Um, we have what we're doing here, which is largely what we refer to as our sideshow. That's where we have our fire performers, we have belly dancers, uh, magicians, knife throwers, sword swallowers, um, stilt walkers, all kinds of different things that perform with us for these special events. Wow. And then we also have our main stage shows, which are actually quite different than what we do here. Okay. Um, our main stage shows, we actually tell retellings from the stage using uh, puppetry, stage combat, uh, projection, all types of different things wow. to tell macabre horror stories from classic literature. Uh, think Edgar Allan Poe, A.C. Lovecraft, so. Wow. So, a, so a story behind the fire throwing and the knife tossing. Oh, yes, and, exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. So we're a, a gothic, gothic, not exactly circus troupe. Okay. Yes. A gothic, not exactly circus troupe. Google that. See what happens. No, don't do that. Uh, you don't know you what never, you're You find. never know what you're going you to find. You're going to find something like that. Uh, yeah. How, how big is the group? Yeah, you guys are going really big. We have roughly 50 members overall. 50? Yes. yes. Uh, and it's very rare for all of them to be in the same place at the same time. We actually just opened up another troop in Atlanta now as well. Really? Uh, yes. Which now has its own group, and I'm not sure if that's included in the 50 or if that's yeah, additional I, to I, it. I know there's about 10 of them, I believe, uh, up in Atlanta right now, and I believe they're going to be rehearsing later tonight for their upcoming yes. shows. That's um, cool. The business is branching. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're, we're, we're franchising. Done. Franchising, yes. Phantasmagoria, the franchise. Buy yours today. <laughs> I was about to say. As a little card, do you want to start your own not wow. so circus? Okay, so you guys get to do all kinds of cool stuff. Yes. Um, 
You know, backstage at any show, on stage at any show, best stories ever because rehearsal, practice, all of these things. So we're going to ask you guys, what is that, you know, just uh, and you know, honest, most unusual memory you have and I was about in, to say, as a performing artist? Let's throw in the worst story ever, or the weirdest story ever. It's just that. Yeah. It yeah. well, gives you a full range to choose from, too. It's like, you know, like, hey, it's it was such a good. wide range. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was good. It was a fan. Yeah. Or no, it was that time that they threw a tip in my head for real. Or, you know, whatever. Just like, yeah. Luckily, that in those days. I had not have it. No, he wasn't even close to me. <laughs> oh, well, I would say probably one of your worst memories uh, doing magic. Oh, when your friend came to the show. Uh, our, our Callum here is a magician, yeah, and uh, someone came on stage to volunteer and was a bit inebriated, to say the least. <laughs> uh, it does tend to happen. I don't even think you need to tell the rest. I think yeah. we already know what happens. Instead of picking one card, this person decided to pick two cards, which... Not say anything about it, and then just put them both back. And just didn't, didn't say anything. So you, you did find one of these cards, uh, yes. but I not was, the card you yes. showed to the rest of the but audience. Not the one. Yeah. Yes, uh, that, that is the one and only time that uh, uh, illusion of mine has gone wrong on stage. And I can happily blame an associate of his for making it happen. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's, that's, it's always nice to have someone to lay it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Generally speaking, it's never his fault. if something goes wrong, it's always Ulrich's fault. That's usually what Very we go with. Very similar. It's, it's why Christian and I get along so well. Yeah. So, you know, the show goes well, and I'm like, didn't you do great? And the show goes bad, and I'm like, Christian, what were you doing? <laughs> and, you know, so it, it, it helps. It really does. Um, fire. Add fire. Mm -hmm. Get dangerous. Yes. All right. What was the first attempt like? Yeah, what was, what was what, that what, like? How did you, <laughs> like, how did you get like, past look, that? I can see I fell into juggling. But you don't fall into lighting stuff on fire to throw it around. So that first time when you're like, okay, light it up, guy. I'm going to do this. Well, so it was an, another friend of ours in Phantasmagoria, uh, another member of ours named Matthias. Uh -huh. um, he uh, was the first to Y'all's really parents start... really wanted you in this career field. Of course. Matthias. <laughs> um, but I saw, I saw Matthias doing some, and I I guess the low IQ got to me, and, and I decided, <laughs> I want to try this, and he said, okay, well, I guess it's time to start teaching you. And, and from there, it just became a longer learning process, uh, getting in contact with more... And we do want to tell everybody on YouTube, because it is YouTube when we know who's watching, don't light stuff on fire and throw it around. F find a local professional. And, and learn. Your craft because yeah. that is you eat fire too. I eat fire and I breathe fire. Mouth parts right. At least take care of one of those remedies. <laughs> that wasn't like his his shtick for the show. That was what his last date told him. As far as you know, I'm telling you. Right? So yeah. I so know his date too. It's still accurate. Was there a practice where it <laughs> didn't go as planned? When did you have an incident? Oh, if if. if uh, if, someone who played, wrong. if someone who plays with fire tells you they've never been burned, I think they're lying to you and trying to impress you. Yes. Um, definitely, <laughs> had things, definitely had things go wrong before, but yeah. the, the, the good part is always having competent people there who are good safety. Yeah. Um, and also having insurance <laughs> specifically for this um, Just helps as well. That's an insurance company's thing. I'm, what, what do you do for a living, sir? I'm going to throw fire. <laughs> There is specialized they, insurance, they, they swear, especially they, for circus they, performers. The guy at Allstate, you know, eyebrow goes, you're in the bag now. <coughs> you know, um, so guys, where are you guys going to be performing next? Ooh. Um, so, we are about to start work on our next Halloween show. That's the next main stage show that we'll okay. be doing, where we'll be doing the macabre horror stories and so on. Okay. That one's going to be touring around all over. I believe we're going to at least five different counties uh, oh, with that okay. particular the show. Central Florida. Throughout yeah. the Central Florida area. Um, so those will be that, Orlando, DeLand, Eustis, um, Ocala. Um, there's, only, there's only one more. Sanford. Sanford. Oh, well done. I got all of them. far better than I do. Boom. Without a map or anything. Yeah, alright. Um, and that will start in a 
October? October. Um, it will run throughout October, uh, touring all around. Um, you can find all of the dates and locations uh, on Facebook and for Fantastic Gloria Orlando. Awesome. We're going to throw links down below so you guys can find that. Okay, so we talked about juggling and fire. Favorite illusion? Well, favorite illusion? Um, well, I mean, there's, about to do. I, there, there's the, yes, there's the one we're about to do, which is actually a very fun one, um, where a uh, person selects a card, signs the card, um, and then we actually manage to throw the entire deck into the air. Uh, inside of its box, well, Auric does a fire breath um, and actually catches the box in the fire breath. Uh, and when we get the card back from the box, if you look at the back, that card has actually been burned and is still their original card. Um, so that that's that's, that's one cool. that we're about to do out there. So if that anyone would like to really, see that, that's really, really cool. Guys, check out Phantasmagoria uh, online. We're gonna put links down below so you can look up their schedule where they're gonna be. Catch one of these shows. We're at Space of Comic and we would love it in our bag. It's great. We go out there and take our breaks and we get to see these guys, which is awesome. We have to wrap it up as we do that. Christian, why don't you thank some people? I got them, all right. All right. Some unique oh. magazines, Space Coast Comics, yeah. Famous Faces and Funnies, <laughs> Yvonne Mason with Off the Chain, Pound the Grape, and our new friends in Orlando, Florida. Our, cosplay's for, our, cos our place to cosplay is Embellish FX, and we want to personally thank Jake and David for bringing us here. Year four of Space Coast Comic Con. I want to thank our friends over at Magoria. Absolutely. Thanks, guys, for coming in and hanging out with us a little bit. Remember, everybody out there, keep logging on, keep tuning in, and see who we're hanging with next.